it's kind of hard uh, with that sometimes, you know, just like going out to get something to eat, like Pizza Hut or wherever, like any restaurant or going to the grocery store and you like in the middle of the grocery grocery line and people come up to you taking pictures while you're paying for your food. So that that's really... Sportowe emocje pod koszem zapewnia Anvil, sponsor strategiczny klubu. Chris Dow here. We are here on the third episode of Fast Break and happy to be here. Hopefully you guys sent some good questions and I'm here to answer. And please don't get mad at me if I pronounce your name wrong. Please. Why didn't you take part in the slam dunk contest? J-Luck 210. Hopefully I said that right, but... uh, I used to do them all the time, like when I was you know, 19, 20, 21, 22, whatever. I used to do them all the time in camps, and it's something you kind of get burnt out from, so you kind of get tired of doing it. But also, I wanted to focus more on the, uh, on the cup, which I know is more important. All right, next we have, who is your best friend on the team? I don't know, I don't know how to say this name. Anya? Who is your best friend on the team? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close with everybody, honestly. Um, just depends on who I'm talking. My favorite is whoever I'm talking to at the time. But I'm pretty close with everyone. If you were offered to sign next year, would you consider? We told. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, we, we'll see. That, that's all I can say right now. We will see. If you could go back in time 10 years, what advice would you give yourself, Greg? Man, uh, it goes it goes by fast. Um, just just enjoy enjoy the moment and you know try to make something out of every day. Work hard, you know, listen to your parents, listen to your peers, and just like I said, enjoy the moment. Do as much as you can because when you get older, things things change a little. Do you have game day habits, or generally do you have habits uh, you have to stick to in order to feel good? Mike too. Um, Game day, like, I really just, as long as I get a nap in, I'm okay. And I try not to eat anything heavy. So when I play on the court, I don't feel like 10 pounds heavy or any, something like that. But normal day for me is just, like, take a nap, you know, after practice or whatever, uh, play PlayStation, watch Netflix or, you know, just any kind of movie or TV show, watch some basketball. That's, that's a normal day for me. You were born in the same city as the great boxing champion, Muhammad Ali. Have you ever considered a boxing career? Lucas, 29. I haven't, and I would never ever think about pursuing a career in boxing, but I have met Muhammad Ali before in the airport. Uh, It was a really, really great experience, but it was kind of hard because it was also, you know, when he was sick, so it's hard to see him like that, but he's a big figure all over the world and especially in our city we have a museum and it's it's great which one of your best childhood memories Greg Mm, I have a I have a lot of them I have a lot of them but uh, I feel like nowadays you don't see as many kids like just playing outside and being a kid nowadays is like a lot more kids are just sitting in the house and play video games like I hear uh Parents talk about that all the time. Like their kids just sit in the house and play Fortnite. I know when I was a kid, like every day after school, after the homework, me and my friends were just out in the park doing anything, making up games, and just having fun being a kid. So that was uh, that was a really, you know, probably the my favorite part of my childhood. Comics, books, or movies? Um, comics that are movies. This is from Jacob, nineteen ninety one. I'm sorry. Um, I'm into I'm into some comics, you know, the superhero stuff. So I watch a lot of those TV series and, and movies. Actually, um, books I don't I don't really read too often, but there are some books that I do have. It's mainly about you know like sports figures and, and things things of that nature. But uh, I'm, I'm a big movie movie and TV show guy. Have you tasted our reg- regional food like Zurich soup or pierogi? Did I say that right? Uh, I'm gonna say this name wrong. How well? <laughs> I think I've had the soup. I've had the soup before, but I don't like. I don't remember. You know, we 
we have soup all the time, so I don't know which was which it, which one it was, but I've had the soup before. I can say that I haven't had pierogi, but I actually have some uh, in my in my freezer, just waiting. You know, I'm j- just waiting to try it because someone was telling me I need to try it. So I guess I have to try that soon. What's your biggest dream outside of basketball, Greg? You're asking some great questions. So let me just put that out there. Uh. Outside of basketball, um, really just being success, whatever I end up doing, just just being successful, just being successful at it. That's that's really all I uh, want out of life is just be successful and be happy. Um, I have some ideas of some things that I want to do once I'm finished playing, but I don't know when that'll be. So I'm kind of trying to live in the moment and you know just take advantage of my opportunity right now. Which league? You had a chance to play on that was the toughest, and when you put EBL in this ladder or hierarchy, slow it. Um, French Pro A was really good. Uh, like a lot of leagues are good, they're just different. They have they have you know their differences. Like the French league is like really athletic. Like it's a lot of a lot of tall guys, a lot of big guys, a lot of traveling because the country's so big. Um, Either France or Israel was fun too. Israel was a, was a good league, but it was like a lot of small ball, so it's not as really many tall guys. Um, Polish league, Polish league is, is is cool too. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of teams who compete, and you have to play every night or you can lose. So I mean, but that's every league. So uh, those leagues are more popular, but you know, Polish league is not like it's just easy, and I'm here averaging fifty points a game, so. What is the most difficult thing or aspect for you in Poland, Lucas twenty nine? Um, well, for me, it's like it's hard to go places sometimes because like the town is so small and everyone's such a big basketball fan. So sometimes I get recognized and you know like people always want to take a picture. Not to sound cocky or anything, but you know I kind of just like blending in and, you know, being away from the attention, but it's kind of hard with that sometimes, you know, just like going out to get something to eat, like Pizza Hut or wherever, like any restaurant or going to the grocery store and you like in the middle of the grocery, grocery line and people come up to you, taking pictures while you're paying for your food. So that, that's really, that's really weird and difficult. But other than that, just like being away from everybody, being away from my family, which is uh, it's a part of the job, so you get used to it, but it's, it, it is difficult. Your favorite cartoon when you were a kid, Bet? Great question. I have a lot of them. I used to watch things like Hey Arnold, Rocket Power, um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Like, I can, I, can, I can go on and on and on, but the cartoons today are kind of... You go back to like uh, the cartoons when I was a kid, like the 90s cartoons, early 2000s, those are the best cartoons ever. So just look up a lot of those cartoons. Who are you cheering for in the Super Bowl? Slavic. So I have some friends who are like diehard 49er fans. And then I know a couple people who are Kansas City Chiefs fans. So when I was talking to the Kansas City Chiefs fans, I was cheering for the Chiefs. But when I was talking to my 49ers friends, I was cheering for the 49ers. So I was cheering, like, I don't, <laughs> I haven't watched football really in like seven years. That was the first game I watched in like seven years. How was your Polish after five months here? Martin, I don't know anything in Polish. I just know some people's name. That's that's about it. I don't, I don't think I know any words. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know the name of the gym. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't know anything in Polish. Like, I was struggling. I just learned how to pronounce our team name, like, three months ago. I was still saying the team name wrong. So, I didn't know the W was in in Poland is pronounced, like, with a V sound. So, maybe that's why some people say my last name wrong, too. Like my last name is Dow, but some people say Do or Dove or whatever. Do you, do you like social media? I saw you only have Instagram. I'm in the K. Yes, yeah, it's, it's cool. I mean, I have uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, 
Snapchat, I don't really use that much. Facebook, I don't really use that much. Instagram, only reason I actually made an Instagram was because uh, I started playing overseas. Like that was my first, like if you go and look, my first picture I remember like it was yesterday is my passport. As soon as my passport came in the mail, I made my Instagram there and that was like my first picture. So Instagram is cool though. It's a way to connect and you know keep up with like sports and your friends or whatever. But for the most part, I don't really, it's like whatever. Having a day off, you prefer to sleep till midday or wake up early and do more. Do more, uh, do more things, Ricky. <clears throat> Definitely sleeping in. Definitely sleeping in. Like we work, we work really hard, and we do a lot of traveling, practicing, playing, and it all just like adds up. So, anytime you, uh, any chance you get to like, sit down and just rest and do nothing, those are the best days. Like, if you ask the majority of people what they do on their off day, they'll probably say just sleep. So, usually just sleep. Eat, watch movies, play PlayStation. That's all I do. Do you believe in God? Raphael, hopefully I said that right. Yes, I do. Uh, I pray once or twice a week. Maybe I should do it more, but definitely believe in God. How do you react when you hear spokespersons, commentators, journalists, or fans speaking your name up with incorrect pronunciation? Did you get used to it, Tom? Yes, definitely got used to it. It's, it's sometimes where it bothers me because it only bothers me like if someone will ask how to pronounce my name and then they still say it wrong. Like if you don't know and you say it the way that you think that's how you say it or like the way that you pronounce it in your country or your language, then that's okay. But it's like some people, they're like, how do you say your name? I'm like, okay, Chris Dow. And then they'll say Chris Doe or something like that. Like that, that used to drive me so, so crazy. And then it got to the point where everyone was saying it wrong. And then <clears throat> when they finally said it right, it was just like, like I, I just loved it. Like I wanted to go up there and just give them a big hug or something. Yeah, uh, I definitely got used to it. So it's just like whatever now. And that is all for today. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Fast Break. I had a great time. Maybe we'll do it again. Uh, thank you for your questions. Um, and go Anvil. It's good.